Welcome back to the NovaWorks Learning Center. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to add level three tagging to notes to financial statements using the mark table function. If you've watched the previous tutorial, you'll be familiar with what level three table tagging is and the basics of how XDX works. If you haven't watched the previous tutorial, I would recommend that you do that now, as we're going to jump right back into tagging. In this tutorial, we're going to cover how to use the mark table function for level three tagging. This is the same function we've used previously to tag financial statements in our document. The mark table function can only be used to mark complete tables. If your document has narrative text that describes the table or table headings in a paragraph before the actual table tag, you'll want to use the level three function instead. Many times a document will have a mixture of tables that use narrative headings and that can be disclosed without any narrative text. In these cases, you can use both functions as necessary. Let's go ahead to GoFiler and take a look at another document. This is another 10Q filing with some different notes. I completed the level one and level two tagging already, so you can see the XDX engrams in the notes here. The first table in this document is located inside Note 2, the Significant Accounting Policies. With this first table, we will need to tag using the Mark Level 3 function, so we can include the preceding paragraph, and we can include the footnote. The Mark Table function will mark the table tag as the beginning of the fact. Since we have a paragraph we want to include, I'll use the Mark Level 3 function instead. To begin, place the cursor on the paragraph block where the table information starts. Click Level 3. Set the element. I'm going to make a custom element for this table by typing the element name into the element field. Click OK. I'll add a block for the label for this table. Add the label text. Select it and click Level 3. Click OK to set the label. Then use the Element CSS Style function to hide the block. Now I'll place the cursor after the footnote table on this empty paragraph block. Click Level 3. Set the type to Level 3 Disclosure End and click OK. That table is tagged now. Let's move on. Here is the next table. All of the information we need to disclose for this table is completely contained within the table tag, so this is a prime candidate for using the Mark Table function. You can still use the Mark Level 3 function if you prefer. Just remember that the function must be used on a paragraph, division, or heading tag before the table. To mark this table using the Mark Table function, place the cursor inside the table. Click Mark Table. The Table Add Ngram dialog appears. This is the same dialog we used to mark the financial statements, so it should be familiar. For tables within the notes of financials, you need to set the table type to Level 3 Fact. There are two options for Level 3 Facts. The first is for a single table. The second is for First of Many. This refers to how many tables will be tagged for this disclosure. In some cases, the data for the disclosure may be contained in multiple tables. This occurs when the table has numerous columns that would make it too difficult to read or print, or when the table has rows that span across pages. This also refers to whether data for the table is included in other types of HTML blocks after the table. For example, footnotes contained in a p-tag. If all of the data for the Level 3 Fact disclosure is located in a single table, choose the Level 3 Fact Single Table option. If the data for the table disclosure is located in more than one HTML table, choose the Level 3 Fact First of Many option. The data for this disclosure is contained in a single HTML table, so set the table type to Level 3 Fact Single Table. Next, enter a name. This will serve as the label for the table. Set the default precision and count it as values. This table is in ones. 
This means we can set the precision as ones and the counted as to as entered, or we can leave these fields set to default. Finally, set the element for the disclosure. Click OK to tag the table. You can now see the engram in the management view. Let's move to the next table. This is another example where you can use the mark table function instead of the mark level 3 function. Place the cursor in the table. Click mark table. The data for this disclosure is also contained in a single HTML table, so set the table type to level 3 fact single table. Add the label. Set the default precision and counted as values. Select the element. And click OK. Let's go to the next table. Here it is. This table doesn't have any introductory information we need to include, so we can use the mark table function even though the disclosure spans more than one table. Place the cursor inside the first table. Click Mark Table. As mentioned, the data for this disclosure is contained in more than one HTML table. I have a table that contains the numeric information and a table that contains the footnote information. Because of this, set the table type to Level 3 Fact, First of Many. This option is going to build the Level 3 Fact data just like the Mark Level 3 function does. It will append the following HTML items whether they are in tables or paragraphs or other HTML blocks, to the fact until it reaches the end of the note or a level 3 end engram. The difference is that the mark table function allows you to begin creating fact data on the HTML table tag. Let's set the rest of the options. Add the label. And set the precision and count it as. Then choose the element. And click OK. The next block is the HTML table with the footnote for our table, so we want to include that in the fact data. After the footnote table, we need to add the end engram for our level 3 fact. Place the cursor in the empty paragraph after the footnote table. Click on level 3. Set the type to Level 3 Disclosure End. Click OK. Remember that the block which contains the end engram is not included in the fact data. That means, if the paragraph contained narrative text, we could still tag it with an end engram, provided that no other block engrams were placed in this paragraph. Let's tag the next table. For this table, we'll use the Mark Table function. Place the cursor on the table. Click Mark Table. Set the table type to Level 3 Fact Single Table. Enter the name for the table. Set the precision. Set the counted as. Select an element. And click OK. For the remaining tables in this note, we will use the Mark Level 3 function. Using the Mark Table function is a simpler process because it allows the user to specify the label with the engram, but your HTML document has to be authored in a specific manner in order to use it. Whenever you have information that must be included with the table outside of the table, as in this case, where you can see the period of the table is located in the narrative text, you will need to use the Mark Level 3 function. An important takeaway is that you can use both methods of tagging tables in the same document. This sample document used both methods. I'm going to export the XBRL report into the XBRL view in GoFiler so you can take a look at the completed tables. Then I'll make a proof in the browser so we can look at it very easily.
The software generated the XPRL proof using ARL. Here are the tables for Note 2. The first fact we created with the Mark Level 3 function, so you can see the preceding paragraph text. The second and third facts were created using the Mark Table function. The only fact data is the information that was included in those table tags. If we check out Note 4, we can see the table we tagged with the first of many table engram. It has the first table with the numeric information and the second table with the footnote data. These different features produce the same result, which is compliant XPRL reporting. Choose the function that fits your situation best. Use the Mark Level 3 function for tables that contain information that begins in the HTML paragraph tags and continues into the HTML table tags, and use the Mark Table function for those tables that are contained only within HTML table tags. And that concludes our tutorials on Level 3 tagging. Thanks for watching.